What's up? If you're new here, welcome to my channel. But if you already know me, thank you so much for supporting me. So today I'm gonna bring you a little get ready with me chit chat. And originally this video was gonna be part of a day in my life vlog that I recorded a few days ago. But as I was editing the vlog, I figured out that the get ready with me part is way too long because I started talking about self-love, self-development, growth and all that. And that ended up being a video by itself. So I thought that I would just bring it to you guys separately from the day in my life vlog. If you're interested in watching my day in life vlog, it will be up in a few days. So subscribe to my channel if you want to watch that video and like this video if you like it. I really enjoy doing it. So I hope you really enjoy it too. And yeah, let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, so I am fresh out of the shower and now I am going to do a quick makeup and fix my hair real quick so that I can take some pictures for Instagram and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping so I'm actually gonna do kind of a cute makeup but very natural because I don't have time to do like a full-on makeup but then as tonight I'm gonna go out with a friend probably hopefully so yeah I'm just gonna make sure that I'm kind of snatched you know what I mean so the first thing we're gonna do is moisturizing these lips because if you guys watch my last video you know that my lips are dry all the time um so yeah first thing I do is moisturize my lips because they need help and love but right now my lips still look ashy like i don't know what to do anymore i don't know and i thought i would do a little chit chat you know i'm gonna tell you guys about what lesson did i learn um over the last month or over the last week and what i've been focused on because that could help you also in your journey i feel like that's something that could help anybody next i'm gonna be using some aloe vera gel this is a hundred percent actually this is 97 percent aloe vera gel and it does a really good job at snatching my skin so what i want to talk about while i get ready and do my makeup with you guys is how to kind of learn to be happy where you are and how to learn to not care about the results if it makes sense so much but more the growth that you're going to like so how to not care about the end result but the growth the third product i'm going to be using is sunscreen you should always wear sunscreen before you go out except if you want wrinkles and who want wrinkles i mean this sunscreen is amazing it's the black girl sunscreen mm -hmm, black owned okay so how to be happy where you are in life even though you are not exactly where you want to be let me tell you something we often worry so much about where we want to be because we want to be there at a certain time in life but one good thing to understand is that everything happens in a timely manner and if you follow me on instagram this is probably gonna sound very familiar and maybe redundant but that's just because it's true like literally i feel like sometimes we're putting so much pressure on ourselves to be somewhere that's also because the environment we're in right like we see everybody let's say on social media or like around us that have maybe their life together or they see it seems like they have their life together and that kind of make us feel guilty about ourselves for not being there yet which is pretty normal but let me tell you one thing the first thing is that you should not compare yourself to other people because if you start comparing yourself to other people you're just gonna go downhill like you're just gonna not be happy where you are you're just not gonna be happy with your own path you might take some paths that are mo not meant for you like you literally have to focus on yourself and kind of like silent yourself from all the noise that's around you there is so many different people and everybody has their own clock like everybody has their own path you cannot expect that you're gonna grow at the same path as someone else because otherwise it's just gonna get you depressed like i'm telling you like if you always expect things to happen as fast as some of your friends or some of the people you follow on social media some of the people that you know are successful that you admire in your life then that's just not gonna work for you you have your own path and you have to focus on your own growth and for that you cannot have to focus on yourself and not compare yourself to other people that's important so now i'm gonna be moving on to makeup as i said i'm not gonna be doing a crazy makeup i'm just gonna put some concealer first I'm not even gonna put foundation. This is Born This Way. If you watch my last video, you know that product. My fave concealer so far. Another lesson still in line with, you know, being happy where you are that I learned is that I'm gonna give you an example. So myself, I really wanna be an influencer. I don't think this is like my life career thing. Like, no, I want to do something else with my life, but definitely being an influencer is something that I've always wanted to do. And so moving on to what I wanted to say, whenever I started sharing pictures, like I started really being serious about my content, 
planning my content, you know, taking like high quality pictures to post, I noticed that I started paying so much attention to how many likes I would get. And so this is gonna be relevant to you, not only for social media, but in real life. We put so much importance in people approving us. Like we seek validation so much in life and we want people to love what we're doing and to tell us that they love what we're doing and that's the problem one you cannot always expect people to like what you're doing and two you should not do something because you want people to like it if you do something is because you feel like doing that already the fact that you like let's say if it's for me for social media when i put a picture already the fact that i like a picture is enough should be should be enough for me and i think i came to a point that really now when i put content out i do not care so much about how many likes i get but it still happens to me that sometimes i'm like dang that's a good picture why i'm not getting a lot of like and that's a problem like literally you should only rely on yourself and you should be the one validating your content or your work like anything that you are trying to achieve or any work output that you have so the main lesson is that you should be the one validating yourself you do not need validation from other people and so another point is kind of related to the first thing that i talked about and is that you should not measure your success in terms of the end result so in terms for me if it's a picture let's say on instagram in terms of how many likes do i get on this picture no um you should really measure your success in terms of the growth like for example i'm putting a picture do i like the picture is it great content is it better than other pictures that i did before yes so i think this is what should matter to you it should matter like that you grew and you did better than you did last time instead of you have more likes or whatever you know so now i'm gonna put some powder on my face um this is a palette from becca cosmetic i believe it's called be a light yeah it's from becca and i'm gonna be using only two powders i'm gonna first be using this one and then this one i'm gonna put it all over my face so this powder is kind of made to unify the face and brighten it a little bit <laughs> sorry if i cannot really speak properly today um i feel like it's because i'm in a rush so i'm not really taking my time the other point that i was saying again is that you need to focus on improving yourself and sometimes even though you feel like you're growing like the people around you are not necessarily going to notice that and that's what i'm saying like that shouldn't matter because first of all like not everybody is always constantly checking if you're growing or not like that's just not true you're the only one that knows if you're growing and if you're putting the effort and if you're actually improving your work output you know it should be only you supporting yourself if it makes sense it's really good to have people that support you it's really good to have people that encourages you to you know achieve your dreams and do what you want to do but it's also really good that you believe in yourself like that's so important and this is gonna lead me to my next point and but before we jump onto the next point i need to do eyebrows let's do eyebrows oh my gosh everything is falling apart so i'm brushing my eyebrows like so and because I don't have a lot of time, I'm just going to use an eyebrow gel. This is the brow gel that I'm using. But yeah, the next point that I wanted to tell you guys about is that you really need to be patient and believe that when the time is right, things are going to happen in the right way. Like you have to believe that you will achieve your goal. You will achieve your goal whenever it's time for you. Like you're exactly where you're supposed to be right now to learn all the lessons that you need to achieve your goals sometimes it's very easy to get caught up in like not achieving your metrics and maybe not be as far as you wish you would be if you get too caught up with your goals in terms of like when they should happen you're gonna get disappointed like it happens for very few people that you achieve your goals in the exact time that you will want to except if you set your goals in a very conservative way it just takes time to achieve your goals okay and sometimes we get too excited and we set our goals to be achieved too soon you know and no you have to you have to really give yourself the time to learn the lessons to grow to learn the skills that you need to be exactly where you want to be but yeah and basically to finish this point that i was talking about is that you need to believe in yourself you need to be so dead sure that you are going to achieve your goals and let me tell you something but first let me do some contouring i'm so sorry by the way if i'm not staring into the camera all the time but i have like all my products in front of me so my eyes are just like 
so i'm gonna use this powder from benefit for contouring this powder is amazing like it works better than anything else i've used in the past i can talk while i do that so i'll just do it real quick Okay, now I can talk. And the other thing that I wanted to say is that, okay, like at first, you might not believe in yourself. And that's completely fine because believing in yourself is something that takes a lot of time. Why? Because believing in yourself is also along with the self-love journey. And self-love is a journey that's almost like a lifetime journey, okay? Like not a lifetime journey, but it's definitely something that takes time. And I believe that especially in the society in which we live now, Self-love is not a priority, unfortunately, and self-love is not something that everybody practices all the time. So you might already believe in yourself, but you might not. And I think a lot of people don't. Like, if they're being completely honest to themselves, I think a lot of people don't believe that they can achieve some of this stuff. So I'm gonna give you a tip to kind of like believe in yourself, especially if you don't right now. And the tip is gonna be fake it till you make it. Literally, at first, you might not believe in yourself, but you have to tell yourself, that you do believe in yourself even though you don't. That's so important because if you keep repeating yourself that you believe in yourself, at some point something in your mind is gonna happen that you're gonna start believing that you believe in yourself. So yeah, you have to fake it until you make it. You have to tell yourself that you do believe in yourself even though you don't. I'm gonna put some blush here and I'm gonna put some highlighter and then I'm just probably gonna put some mascara and that's it, okay? I need to be fast efficient straight to the point girl uh, so once again so i'm gonna use the beka palette that i have and i'm gonna use this as a blush because this is kind of bronzy pink blushes don't work on me like i tried recently a kylie blush that is very pink and <laughs> no 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 it's not working for me so yeah i'm using that Okay, so we're looking very bronzy. The makeup is really subtle and, you know, cute. We can barely see it, but that's that was the goal, okay? So now I'm putting some highlighter. So this is from Fenty Beauty and this is the shade Hustle Up Baby. So I'm gonna apply it using a finger because again, it works best for me. So to kind of wrap up, now that I'm almost done with my makeup, is that one way to believe in yourself is with affirmation. So you have to tell yourself every day that you believe in yourself that you are going to be successful or already that you are successful um, and that you're gonna achieve your goals. Like you have to believe that hard for things to start manifesting into your life. And you have to tell yourself that despite the fact that sometimes you put some hard work and you don't see results right away. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that everything will happen when it's supposed to happen. That's very important. So I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara now and I'm using the Roller Lash from Benefits. And then that will be it for makeup. I am not going to speak while doing my mascara, even though that's already what I'm doing. But yeah, already mascara is hard to do. Oh my gosh, this is, I look very cute like that. Oh no. That's it. I feel like if I start messing up one eye, then like everything is gonna mess up. Girl. Okay, so that is it for makeup. This is a very natural, very easy, simple, okay? It probably would take me 10 minutes if I wasn't talking to you guys and if I was actually focusing on what I'm doing. But this is this. I'm also gonna add actually a little bit of lip gloss just to kind of finish the look. This is from Fenty Beauty. So this is it. This is the makeup look of the day. Now I'm gonna be doing my baby hair and then I am going to fix my hair a little bit. I don't know what I'm gonna do. By the way, if you see some little white stuff in my hair, once again, this is the gel that I'm using. I don't know why sometimes the gel that I'm using does some flakes and sometimes it doesn't. Like, I just, I don't understand. I feel like all the gels that I'm using are doing flakes anyway, so. I don't know, girl. So the gel that I'm using is called Clear Ice, I guess. I got that at CVS or Walgreens, I can't remember. I like it because it is alcohol and paraben free. It is protein rich and it is water based and it is supposed to be non-flaking, but girl, I don't see that happening. Anyways, yeah, so just to wrap up you guys, keep believing in yourself. I know that sometimes things don't go exactly the way you pictured it would go, but you have to trust, okay? Trust in the process. Trust that you are not gonna let yourself down. And that's what I'm saying that 
self-love is so important in this whole process of believing in yourself because you have to love yourself so much that you're just like girl i'm not gonna let you down i'm not gonna let you down like you are gonna achieve your goals because i'm not gonna let you not achieve your goals and be not where you want to be you know what i mean so this is a very spiritual talk i hope you guys enjoyed it if you enjoyed little talks like that while i get ready or do some other stuff let me know in the comment down below okay so I'm really into self-love, I don't know, if you guys follow me on my social media, you know. If you don't follow me on my social media and you want to go on a self-love journey or you're looking for inspiration, just follow me. Most of the time I try to put out content that will help you in your self-love journey, whether that be quotes or affirmations, stuff like that. So I'm not a pro at baby hair, like I'm still trying to figure out how the hell do I lay down those crazy small hair that I have in here. So don't judge me, please. <laughs> and if you have any advice, I welcome any advice. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this look. Now I'm gonna take a picture for Instagram and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. So I'll take you guys along with me for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay guys, so this is it for this video. I recorded an outro because I didn't want to just leave you like that. If it felt to you like the video was ended a bit fast, it's just because once again, that was supposed to be part of a day in my life vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you want to see the day in my life vlog, subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it, and comment down below if you like when I do some self-love, self-development videos like that. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much again for watching. I see you in my next video. Bye.